Glory, blessed be thy name. Hallelujah. Great is thy faith. Yeah. Whoa. Blessed be thy name, O oh God. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am a life that was changed. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am so glad you gave. Oh, he touched me. Yes. Oh, he touched me, and oh, the joy that floods my soul, something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. Make us whole this morning, God. Ramondo robo shinda ramande la basi raba. Indo roba shindo la basi raba se kromande. Indo la basi shindo la basi ramande. Blessed be the name of the Lord, who sits high and look low. He's worthy. He's worthy of our praise this morning. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him and heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. I thank God he woke me up in my right mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Good morning to the household of faith. I'm so glad y'all pressed through. To God be the glory. To the YouTube, Facebook audience. God bless y'all. Come on into the house of the Lord. Tag somebody Hallelujah. and let them know we have a powerful prophetic word for you this morning. Hallelujah. Well, we want to uh, turn the service over to Sis Angela as she read our bulletin. And get ready, get ready, get ready. Ooh, Amen. Okay, Come on, give the Lord a praise clap. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
Our totally virtual services are a learning work in progress. Yes, Lord. And we are continually working to enhance the quality of our live stream. Please remember to stay faithful mm. to sewing into our new location fund. Glory as well to God. As to your tithe and offering. Let God use you to help us to keep mm. reaching lost souls. Yes, Lord. To all of our faithful servants mm. of God that declares MOGFC as their church home. Yes, Lord. We need you to stay faithful. We need you to faithfully sow your tithe. And offer yes, Lord. Or love seed to help us meet the church monthly budget. Mm -hmm. Remember, you always want to sow into the ground that has been feeding you. There are several opportunities to sow into different ministries. This is outside of Hallelujah. The Let God lead you in sowing. Name your seed and stay faithful to receiving your harvest. You can sow through our cash app at Dollar Sign Apostle Russo, as well as our PayPal. All of the information is in the yes, comments. Yes. For our 52 week fundraiser for the month of April, $62. Mm, glory to God. Glory. Remember, Saints, we have our prayer service every Friday starting at yes. 7.30 p.m. You can call the prayer line and be connected with some prayer warriors. Hallelujah! In the comment section below. Ooh. Also, don't forget to Hallelujah. tune in every Monday for a Bible study at 7 p.m. Come join us as we learn the word of God. And we yes. want to thank our virtual viewers right now Hallelujah. for tuning in and helping us increase outside of these four walls. Continue to share with your family and friends. And remember, saints, in your personal mm -hmm. prayer time, please remember to lift up the saints on the prayer yes. request list. If you have a prayer request, please submit it in that we may put it in the bulletin so we can come on one accord in prayer for you. Would you like to add anything else? I'm good, time? sis. I'm good. I just love our virtual art. Thank y'all. And don't forget, next week we're having Holy Communion. Hallelujah. Get your crackers and grape juice and join us. Amen. And now, Bible trivia time. Uh -oh. Let's see how well you do. Last week's question, who was the first martyr of the Christian church? The answer is found in Acts chapter 7, verses 54 through 58. Yes, Lord. The answer is Stephen. Amen. Amen. This week's Bible trivia question, who were the two men that held up Moses' hand when his hands got weary. Amen. Remember, you can send them in ahead of time. Yes, yes, yes. And now, for our favorite part Hallelujah. of the book, Pastor's Corner. Glory to God. Guard Amen. yourself against the unpardonable sin. Verily I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto sons of man, and blasphemy wherewith soever there shall blasphemy. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost had never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. Wow. Mark chapter 3, verses 28 through 29. Men and women of God. Life is full wow. of pitfalls and potholes, hot-headed men and jealous women, conceited and competitive from the time we were born to the time we take our last breath. We applaud those who demonstrate having a good nature, while at the same time being appalled at those who demonstrate a God nature. We love mm. the hot dog. We just don't want to know how it is made. We love our religion on Sunday, but not every day of the week. Our compliments are paraded in the noonday before the crowd of the self-indulgent. But our cynicism marches in the twilight, pilfering the self-sacrifice. Amen. Listen, an all-loving God addresses this defunct. Nature of humanity warning us about the boundaries and the barriers Hallelujah. set up to protect 
the unsuspecting soul mm. of the dangers on this side of a time yes, yes, that could yes. affect how and where they will end up on the other side of eternity. The above scriptures describe Ooh. certain men whose minds were tragically close to God's presence in his son Jesus, as well as working through his servant, followers of Jesus. This is the sin Jesus warned against, which consists of one deliberately and psychologically, irrevocably spurning and rejecting God's redeeming and cleansing power. Yes, Lord. Playing church can be forgiven, but playing with the Holy Ghost cannot be forgiven. Amen. Christians should have a convicting heart and not a callous heart. It is your life. Be warned. Yes, Guard Lord. yourself against the unpardonable sin. Glory to God. Much love, Apostle D. Glory! Come on, say bless you to your feet and give God glory and praise. Hallelujah. It is my honor to introduce the Son of the Day to others. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, give God some praise. Come on, if you're watching me on the type, I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Good morning. Good, good, good morning. Good morning. We're so glad y'all tuned in. I'm so grateful for the faithful. Amen. And to our MOGFC family and covenant partners, God bless you. You are truly a blessing. Amen. Amen. Come on with me in prayer. I'm just ready. I believe God has an hour word for us. Amen. Every Amen. head bow. No one looking around him. Look for the eternal God. Great is thy faithfulness toward thy people. I truly pray that I decrease that thy spirit may increase. That they neither see me nor hear me today. Holy Ghost, show us the master. Show us Jesus. Lord Jesus, my prayer today is that you give us ears to hear and a heart to receive your word that none of us would leave here yes, the way we came. Lord, we come with one voice to decree and declare you are the Lord of the harvest, the Lord of the righteous, and you are the Lord of the Sabbath. There is no God above you, nor beside you. It is an honor to serve yes, you. Yes, God. You are my Jehovah Jireh. Have your way, Father. As we give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor. Glory. In Jesus Christ's name. Let everyone in agreement say amen. 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 Come on, give the Lord glory. a praise. Hallelujah. Come on with me to the book of Daniel. Chapter 3 is a familiar passage in Daniel. Daniel got so many good uh, things in there. Amen. Daniel chapter three. We're going to start at verse 11 and go all the way to verse 25. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord? Are you glad that God has given us technology where we can live stream straight into your bedroom, straight into your living room? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my God, you can pull up on the side of the road and watch us on your, on, on your phone. What a mighty God we serve. Daniel chapter 3, starting at verse 11, the King James Version reads this way. And whosoever or whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. There were certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king, and Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said unto them, Is it true? I want to hear it out of your mouth. Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up. 
Now, if ye be ready that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, the palstry, the dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the image which I have made? Well, but if you worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. And who is that? Who is that God? Who is everybody say, who is that God? Who is that God? that shall deliver you out of my hands. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. Isn't that the uh, Sabbath school? Be careful for nothing. But we are careful to answer thee in this matter. You're not going to just get us to say anything. We know exactly what we're going to say. Am I talking to anybody? You're not to answer the devil today. Verse 17, and if it be so, our God whom we serve is able, he's able, he's able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy God, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spoke and commanded that they should heat the furnace seven times more hotter than it was. Come on now. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning, fiery furnace. Mighty men for three men. Uh -huh. For just want to praise. Just want to praise. I need the best warriors to contain this praise. These men were bound in their coats, their, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into uh, the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king commandment was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Ah, uh, you better watch what you're playing with, uh, that you don't get burned by the fire that you think gonna burn somebody else up with. Am I right about it this morning? Amen, hallelujah. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound in the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spoke and said unto his counselors, wait a minute. Did we not cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? Mm -hmm. They answered and said unto the king, true, O king, verse 25. And he answered and said, lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire come on, come on. and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the son of God. May yeah. God add a blessing to the reading of his word. I need you to say by faith, you're going to get this word. It will change my life. It will change Come my on, look at a brother and sister say, I love you. I love you. And there's nothing you can do and about it. My God, you may be seated in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. I need somebody to shout, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Listen to me, saints. Uh, God has a word for you this morning. I need you to put your spiritual ears on. Yes, Lord. Don't make this a story. Make this your testimony today. Amen. Amen. Beloved of the Father, we have heard mm. misery loves company. Come on now. Whether you are the haves or the have-nots, <laughs> misery is worn under a sharp laugh but it has a dull smile. Mm -hmm. Don't ever be confused between happiness and joy. Mm -hmm. Happiness is a feeling and joy is a condition. Ooh. The noise of an empty life can only be heard in the heart of that individual. A put up with lifestyle. A put up with life. How many of y'all just putting up with life? I'm just waiting till God takes me home. I said a put up life uh, is not the same 
is a fulfilled of life. Come on. Evil is never satisfied. Come on now. Compromise is never a good thing. And never, ever, 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 ever eat from the tree of revenge is a dish best served cold. Don't you remember the Bible declares in the epistle of Romans chapter 12? Huh. Yes, Lord. Uh, verse 19. Thank you. It's the very bottom of that verse. Romans 12, verse 19. It says, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Don't ever eat from the tree of revenge is a dish best served cold. Vengeance is the Lord. Am I right about it? Children of Zion, hear me today. Let us never forget. Let us never forget God is in control. Come on. God is in control. God can take what the enemy meant for evil and turn it around yeah. for our good. Hallelujah. Thank Tough you. times, hard times, sad times don't last. Tough, Holy Spirit filled, tongue talking, blood bought people do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Battles after battle. Preach. I'm talking about addictions. Hmm. I'm talking about health issues, yeah, yeah, sicknesses. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about contention in your home. Come on, man. I'm talking yeah. about spouse problems, children problems, money problems. For some of us, our problems have been with us so long, it seems a way of life. But God sent me to remind you of John's gospel, chapter 10, verse 10. The thief come not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am come that they might have life mm -hmm. and that they might have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. My God, are you getting the best that God has for you? Yeah. Are you living beneath God's best? Whoa. God Whoa. sent me to tell you, he came that you might have that life and that life more abundantly. People of faith, if you cannot dance when the birds are not singing, then learn how to sing in the rain and dance in the rain. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Don't get mad at God. Get mad at the devil. We got too many people getting mad at God. Don't get mad at God. Get mad at the devil. The prophet Elijah said, how long will you be between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. Our faith is not tested in the cool of the day. Our faith is tested in the furnace of affliction where you will have a choice to either bow or burn. Did you hear what I said? Come on. You have a choice either to bow to their God or burn people up with your God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Disciples of Christ Jesus. The devil's fire want to destroy your faith. God's fire wants to deliver and develop your faith. On the outside of the fiery test, you will feel alone. But on the inside of the fiery test, you are never alone. The burning, fiery furnace experience is where God shows himself faithful and mighty. The spirit of the Lord declares, meet the folk man in the fire. Hallelujah. If you're taking notes, that's the sermon title. Come on. Did you come to meet the folk man in the fire? Amen. Hallelujah. Can I give a little backdrop? Come on. Huh? Of the book of Daniel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not just chapter three, but the book of Daniel. Amen. Come the on. backdrop is a picture of one almost ready to question who is in control. Okay, now. Is God in control or the devil? Is good in control or is evil? Is the earthly way better than God's way? Is Nebuchadnezzar's way better than God's come way? On, come on, come on. The great Babylonian king, 
Nebuchadnezzar. Let me give you a history lesson. Mm -hmm. Fierce king, powerful king. Mm -hmm. He had a powerful kingdom. As a matter of fact, Nebuchadnezzar was one of the greatest empires known to man. Okay, now. That man has ever built. Come on, come on, come on. So much so, we find one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The hanging gardens of Babylon. How do you make stuff grow in the desert? And this man did it. Come on. This man tore down Solomon's temple. Mm. And he took captive God's chosen people. You got to be bad mm. to destroy God's temple that Solomon built. Are oh, y'all with me? I'm giving you a backdrop. Come on. Not only did he take captive God's chosen people in particular, he took in Crystal, Dwayne, and I mean Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Come on now, praise him. And God's favor, even though they were captive, God's favor was still on their lives. Hallelujah. And because jealousy had rose up and had risen up, it got it wanted them to compromise their faith or to completely break down their faith. Mm -mm. Am I talking to anybody where you've been through stuff where your faith has been broken down? Come on. Or did the devil get you to compromise your faith? Mm. I come to preach to folks that's being threatened with the burning furnace experience. Hallelujah. You're being threatened in the form of a doctor's report. We don't know what's wrong. We think you got six months to live, two years to live. Is anybody experiencing the burning furnace experience. And then you're dealing with the fear of compromising because of your living condition. Well, I need somebody to help me. So I know they're not saved, but at least they can help me. Well, I got to go live with these people, even though they're not. I said, are you compromising your faith because of your living condition? And then I come to preach to folks that are embracing the fire. Amen. Whose actions are telling the devil, let's turn this thing up seven times hotter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting hot up in here. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who am I talking to that's ready to tell the devil the heat is on? Mm -hmm. I ain't worried about your heat. You better worry about my heat. Am I right about it this morning? Right about it. I've come to tell you this morning. And God sent me to tell you. Are you ready to meet the false man in the fire? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Daniel chapter 3, verse 11 and 12 says, And whoso falleth down, who whoso falleth not down, and worship that, and worship it, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. There were certain Jews who they had set over the affairs of the province of Babylon. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded you. They serve not your God, nor worship the golden image, which thou hast set up. Listen to me. Daniel chapter 3, verse 11 and 12 this is the great king Nebuchadnezzar being manipulated by a political group. Come on. It could have easily been Democrat or Republic. Yeah, yeah. He is the great king. Come on. And this great king had put Christians over certain things. But the other people in his kingdom, the other governors, the other ambassadors, they were like, we're going to get them. You better hear me this moment. Come on. They're trying to manipulate this great king. And on the outside, it appears they want everyone to worship this worldly system. It looked like they're trying to take up for King Nebuchadnezzar. They don't want to worship the Democrat. They don't want to worship. They don't even want to vote. They don't want to do this. On the outside, it appears that they want everybody to worship this worldly system. But if the truth be told, can we look closer at this? It is not that they want them to worship the worldly system. It's that they want them to stop worshiping their God. 
Am I talking to anybody this morning where your situation is trying to get you to stop worshiping your God? Come on, hallelujah. Worshiping God. They were still worshiping God in the midst of their captivity. They were worshiping God in the midst of their loss. They're not in their homeland. Hallelujah. Their mom and dad is gone. Their uncles are gone. They're in captivity, but they owe for providence. Hallelujah. They're worshiping God in the midst of their confusion. Their confusion. How am I going to worship God in this strange place? We're not in Israel. We're not in the land God gave us. We're in Babylon. Come on, yeah. How do I still worship and praise God in Babylon? Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Am I talking to anybody? And yet through it all, these three boys, they have stayed faithful to their worship, to their God. I've come to ask somebody, anybody, and everybody, if you stayed faithful to worshiping your God. I'm reminded of Joseph when Pentiphas' wife wanted to be intimate. He stayed faithful to his God, even though he was in a strange house. Can I get somebody to stay faithful to their God this morning? Who am I preaching to that have stayed faithful to worshiping your God in the midst of all that you have been through? Somebody will say, you can't tell it like I can tell it. I go to bed in pain, I wake up in pain. Hallelujah. Come on. I got family that ostracized me, alienated me. Hallelujah. But I'm still staying faithful to worshiping my God. God sent me to ask you this morning, are you ready to meet the fourth man in the fire? Notice it didn't say everybody. It said certain Jews. Not everybody, saints. Because, listen to me, because not everybody is willing to receive and walk in this level of faith that will force you to experience the burning furnace experience. I say not everybody is willing to fight City Hall. Come on. Not everybody is willing to say, before I go live under that roof, I'd rather live in my car. Not everybody. But God expects all of us to meet the false man in the fire. Many of us are running away from the fire because we forgot who is in control. I know it looked like Nebuchadnezzar is in control, but I've come to tell you, God is in control. Hallelujah. Listen to me. They're ready to experience the fourth man in the fire. They came into this worldly system, this Babylonian system. Guess what, saints? It was already set up. They didn't have to reinvent the wheel. It was already working. Are you getting that? I said they came into this system already set up, but they refused to serve other gods. They refused to serve serve other religions and they definitely was not ready to serve a corrupt political system how many of us have fallen we say we won't we won't bow to abortion but you have bowed to a, a corrupt political system the devil don't care what he get us to bow to as long as we bow amen, amen. he didn't care if you bow to his god he didn't care if you bowed to his image or he didn't care if you bowed uh, to what he was setting up. How many know what America has set up called same-sex marriage? Are y'all bowing to that? Or are you ready to get and experience the burning fire furnace experience? Can I make this word plain to you this morning? And so uh, they said, Whosoever falleth not down in worship. Well, that's Dwayne. Hallelujah. I don't need to go watch stuff in, at the theater. Most of the Hollywood movies have cursed words. They make people do stuff. They got a whole lot of stuff that's coming against our faith. And you may not recognize you've been bowing. You've, 
you've been walking in a compromising spirit. And so in verse 13, the Bible says, then Nebuchadnezzar, then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded, bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Do you get this, saints? Do you see that the battle starts long before you ever get close to the burning fire? Come on. Look how the, the battle started way over here. Now, this mighty king who subdued kingdoms, all of this, you upset because three people don't want to worship. You got a whole kingdom. Hallelujah. What you worried about these three? Come on, hallelujah. hallelujah. What you worry about these three? You the one gave them position. Why did, why did Nebuchadnezzar give them position? Because remember when they say we refuse to eat the king's meat? How many know they're trying to get him? I know at one time you refused the king's meat, but now in Daniel chapter three, we want you to see if anything changed. Will you eat the king's meat now? Now that we threaten you with fire? Am I talking to anybody? There was a time when you wouldn't watch stuff on TV. You wouldn't curse. You wouldn't go to casinos. You wouldn't do certain things. Now you've compromised your faith. Can I preach this, Mom? Amen. The battle starts long before you ever get close to the fire. Don't ever feel like you're facing this raging fire by yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a real devil that hates God. And he hates God's people. There's a real devil that hates God. And he hates God's people. The fire, the battle started long before you ever got close to the fire. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you still with me? We will not get into, listen, we will not get into glory. None of us. We will never get into glory on a bed of ease. Did you hear what I just said? How many of y'all want your Christian walk to be easy? You will never get into glory on. on a bed of ease. God, if you give me a good life, I'm going to serve you. God will never give you a good life where you don't need God anymore. Hallelujah. Listen, there are people that the devil will use to make your life miserable. Can somebody say amen? amen? I say there are people that the devil will use to make your life miserable because your faith must be tested. Your light shows they don't have light. Hallelujah. It's hard to believe there's people out there that hate you because you love worshiping God. I know that's hard to comprehend. But this happens because God says your faith must be tested. The devil's action says, if you serve God, I will lie on you. I will hate you. I will abuse you. Hallelujah. I will persecute you. That's what the devil's actions say. If you keep worshiping God, I'm going to make you feel so lonely. I'm going to make you feel I, a piece of a man is better than no man. I'm going to make you feel the heat. And I'll get you to throw the towel in. Hallelujah. That's the devil's actions. So listen. The men of the kingdom of Nebuchadnezzar says to the three Hebrew boys, the king want to see you. Guess what, saints? They have no idea why the king want to see them. Hallelujah. Maybe it's to give me another promotion. Maybe it's this. Hallelujah. Notice that it didn't say the king of glory wanted to see them. It said the king, Nebuchadnezzar, wanted to see him. Hallelujah. Amen. You better know when you're going to see the king of this world, you better make sure you're walking with the king of the next world. Amen. Did you hear what I just said? Hallelujah. You better know you're walking with the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
you know they had to have been in the king's chamber before if he put them over the providence. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody may say, well, where's Daniel? Daniel was probably off doing his thing, but he wasn't bowing either. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so when I read this, and uh, the Nebuchadnezzar in his rage commanded, and they brought these men before the king. He was raged. He was mad. May I tell you today, the devil's always mad every time you wake up. The devil's always mad when you decide to worship and not bow. The devil's always mad when you decide to trust God and not him. <coughs> Hallelujah. In verse 14, Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not you serve my God, nor worship the golden image which I have set up. Nebuchadnezzar said, I don't want to hear it from somebody else's mouth. I want to hear it out of your mouth. How many of us are afraid to, to tell the devil how we really feel? Hallelujah. How many of us are afraid to tell the devil, I'm not afraid of you? Are you getting that? Amen. And so they went before the king. They didn't go before the king on worldly business. They didn't go on whether they were doing their job right or wrong. They came before the worldly king because of who they wanted to worship. And who they didn't want to bow down to. May I ask you today. The, the, the test that you're facing. Is who are you willing to bow down to. And who are you not willing to worship. Are you still with me this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. The king represents the government saints. And the government is saying. And it's, is it true. You will not take the vaccine. I mean, you will not bow down and accept a boat. I mean, uh, will you be, is it true? Hallelujah. How many of us Christians will say, oh, I got homosexual friends. I got th going against God's word. How many of y'all know people that's doing drugs and you're still hanging out with them? And Nebuchadnezzar said, I want to hear it out of your mouth. Wow. Hallelujah. Now somebody told them they're not bending and bowing. It's easy to not bend and bow in the cool of the day. But will you not bend and bow in the heat of the mist of the fire? Hallelujah. And so he says it's true. You will not take the vaccine. I mean, you will not bow down and accept abortion. You will not bend and bow down and accept same-sex marriage. You will not bend and bow down when just because the world say drugs are legal now, it's okay if you do it. Uh, you will not bend and bow. I don't want anything on my TV that will come against my faith. You will either bow or burn. Who am I preaching to that feel like it's you against the, all the lies of the world? How many feel like it's you against all the lies of the devil? Hallelujah. I wonder right about now if Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is saying, where's our brother Daniel? Come on, come on, come on. Where's our fourth brother? Uh, I think somebody done got what I'm going. Where come I'm on, going. come on, come on. Where's our fourth brother? If Daniel was here, hallelujah. Daniel's not with him. Hallelujah. Sometimes you want people with you and God is saying, you got to stand on your faith by yourself. Hallelujah. You got to press your way through the prayer. You got to press your way to believe that God is able. Somebody say God is able. God is able. Hallelujah. Who am I preaching to that you feel like all the lies of the world is coming against you. And God sent me to tell you to stay faithful. You're about to be the fourth man in the fire. Oh, hallelujah. This is like when you're ready to fight City Hall. Mm -hmm. 
This is like when you're going against the popular opinion. Hallelujah. We see that in the political arena. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 15. <coughs> now, if you be ready, that at the time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbuck, the poultry, the dulcimer, and all kinds of music, which I have made. Well, you do well, but if you worship not, you shall be cast into the, the same hour into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. And then who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? Come on now. Listen to me. Nebuchadnezzar is saying, I'm going to force you to bow down to worshiping worldly music over God's music. Can you read that? The cornet, the flute, the harp, the sagba. Uh, I'm going to force you to worship worldly music over godly music. We will approve how the chosen of God should and will worship, which includes compromising with the world. The king says, who is this God? Somebody say, who is this God? Who is this God? That's, that's what the king asked, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Who is this God that is able? Come on, come on, he wasn't come on. able to stop me when I tore down Solomon's temple. Right. He wasn't able. Come on now. Who is this God? Oh, tell Somebody say, who is, this God? who is this God? Well, you better hear me today. This God is found in all 66 books of the Bible. Come on, come on. In Genesis, he's the seed of woman. In Exodus, he's the Passover lamb. Yeah, 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 in Leviticus, yeah, 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 yeah. he's our high priest. Oh, in Numbers, yeah. he is the pillar of fire by day and the pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he is the prophet like unto Moses. In yeah. Joshua, Captain of our salvation Hallelujah. and judges. He's our judge and lawgiver, oh. our kinsman redeemer. On, and first and second Samuel, he is our trusted yeah, yeah, prophet. Yeah, 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 and yeah, first yeah. and second king and first and second chronicle, he is our reigning king. Yeah. And Ezra, oh, he yeah. is our faithful scribe. On, and man. Nehemiah, he is the rebuilder yeah. of the walls of broken lives. Mm. And Esther, he is our Mordecai, the voice of wisdom saying, for such a time as this. And Job, he is our day spring from on high. And some, he is the Lord, our shepherd. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he is our divine wisdom. And Psalms of Solomon, he is our lover and our bridegroom. And Isaiah, he is the Prince of Peace. Yeah, yeah. And Jeremiah, he is the righteous branch. And Lamentations, he is the weeping prophet. And Ezekiel, he is the four faces of divinity. Oh, right. The wheel in the middle of the wheel. Yeah, and yeah. Daniel, he is the fourth man in the fire. Oh, and Hosea, oh. he is our far faithful husband, married to the backslider. And Joel, he is the baptizer of the Holy Ghost with fire. And Amos, he is our burden bearer. Yes, he and is. Amos, he is our burden bearer. Yes, he is. And Obadiah, he is the mighty one to save. And Jonah, he is our great foreign yes, missionary. Yes, and Micah, he's carrying the gospel of the feet that are beautiful. Oh, and Nahum, he is the avenger of God's elect. And Habakkuk, yes. he is the great evangelist reviving Hallelujah. the works. <clears throat> and Zephaniah, he is God, our Savior. And Haggai, he is the restorer. He is the restorer of our lost inheritance. Yes, and Zechariah, he is the fountain of living waters, opening up to the house of David. And Malachi, yes. he is the son of righteousness, rising with healing in his wings. Hallelujah. And Matthew, he is the Messiah. Yes. And Mark, he is the one in working power. And Luke, he is the son of man. And John, he is the son of God. And Acts, 
He is God, the Holy Spirit. In Romans, he is our justifier. In First and Second Corinthians, he is our sanctifier. In Galatians, he is our redeemer uh, from the curse of the law. In Ephesians, he is our Christ of unsearchable riches. In Philippians, come on, somebody. He is the God that supplies yeah. all of our needs. In Colossians, he is the fullness of the Godhead oh. bodily. In first yeah, and Lord. second Thessalonians, he is our soon coming king. In first and second Timothy, he's our mediator between God and man. In Titus, he is our faithful pastor. In Philemon, he is a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. Yeah. Hebrew, he is the God of our everlasting covenant. In James, he is our great physician. In first and second Peter, he is the chief shepherd and bishop of our soul. In first, second, and third John, he is our loving God. In the book of Jews, he is our coming king with 10,000 saints. And in Revelations, he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Never, never come and never ask, who is the God that will deliver you? He's found in all the books of the Bible. Am I right about it this come morning? On. Yes, you are, man of God. These three Hebrew boys. Come on. Is saying, boy, if Daniel was here, if we only had the folk, man. I know you wish, sometimes you wish your mama was with you. Sometimes you miss your daddy was with you. But I've come to tell you, God told me to tell you, are you ready to meet the folk man in the fire? Yeah. Hallelujah. I've come to tell you, if, if Sister Angela won't say it, if Sister Holly won't say it, every week, yeah. God wants to bless us with a fresh word. Yeah. Who is this God that shall deliver you out of my hand? Come on. Nebuchadnezzar is trying to intimidate and say, don't you remember I just broke down Solomon's temple? Don't you remember I took all of y'all prisoner? Y'all work for me. Hallelujah. Where is and where was your God then? You think he's going to help you now? Come on. Somebody should have said, yes, he will. Yes, he will. He's an on time God. Long time. I come to remind you, don't you ever forget God is in control. I know it looks like Nebuchadnezzar's in control. Come on. But I wish I could tell you the end of the story. How Nebuchadnezzar's going to bow his knee and say, I will only serve the God of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I believe if you will not bend or bow, your family will say today, we will only serve the God that my daughter served, that my mother served. Oh, y'all still with me this Amen. morning? Hallelujah. I said, Lord Jesus, this man is trying to intimidate them. Where's your God? Don't you know they're still in slavery? Even though they got position. Did you hear what I just said? Some of y'all think y'all doing okay because y'all got a job and you're not studying, you're not reading. Everything is stopping you from reading. Everything is stopping you from praying. Come on, come on. You better say, I will not bend or bow. Because I don't know how. Amen. The heat is on. Yes, is. Come on, look at somebody type and then tell the devil the heat is on. The heat is on. Hallelujah. <clears throat> look at what they answered. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. How about if I say Dwayne, Brother O, and Sister H answered and said to this worldly king, to this worldly government, Hallelujah. That's what it just said. We are not careful to answer thee in this matter. In other words, we've been waiting to tell you. Hallelujah. Devil, take your hands off of God's property. Am I, can somebody say, devil, take your hands devil off of God's property. Of God's property? In verse 16, you see the power of a spoken word. We see where Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego declared, let our words be yea and amen. Let our words be yes or no, but never in between. We may be cold or hot, but we're never lukewarm. God sent me to tell you to guard your words. Guard what and how you are thinking. Woo! 
Woo! Come on, Won't come he on. do it? Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what I thought about right about now? Come on. These three boys are in front of the king and a whole bunch of citizens of Babylonia. They think their world is fine. Am I talking to anybody this morning? Where your neighbor look like everything is okay because they've learned to bow to Nebuchadnezzar's system. Hallelujah. Come on. You got road rage out, uh, uh, unbelievable. Y'all got a man setting himself on fire. Do you get what I'm saying? Am I talking to anybody that say, I will not eat from the tree of revenge is best served cold. Vengeance is the Lord. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego say, wait a minute. We're going to answer you today. Come on. You know what their words were saying, saints? I ain't scared. Am I talking to some born again believers? I'm talking about spirit filled, tough. Come on, come on. Tongue talkers. Scripture quoting, Holy Ghost filled, come on, Father. blood bought, that refused to buy. Somebody need to say, wait a minute, I got my prayer back. I got my shout back. Yeah, 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 hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. hallelujah. These are three boys that will never see their mother again, will never see their brother, their sister, their uncle. They're in a strange land, and they say, let's draw a line in the sand and say, here the two devil. And no more. Yes, hallelujah. Woo. Woo. And so in verse 18, 17 and 18, he said, if it be so, our God whom we serve is able. I had to stop there a minute because I said, my God. That's why in Genesis, we got one called Cain and one called Abel. My God, my God. So this is the Bible. Nebuchadnezzar is saying, y'all God can. Sound like Cain, right? And the Hebrew boys is saying, my God is able. Am I talking to anybody that will declare today, my God, my God is God able. Is able. Yeah. Now, that's what they say. Let's get this straight. The God whom we serve, he's more than able. To do exceedingly and abundantly and above all that we may ask of them. He's able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. Yeah, he's able. He's able to give you a roof over your head today if you stop bowing. He's able to heal your body if you desire to stop bowing. Hallelujah. This is for people that refuse to bow. This is for people that have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is for people that have declared, I want heaven and not hell. I want to serve God and not the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are y'all still with me this morning? With you, man, Hallelujah. I'm getting excited. Yeah. And you can understand. Hallelujah. Because while they were looking for Daniel to be the fourth man, God says, you don't understand. <laughs> What's that song? Parents just don't understand. Look at verse 18. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Hallelujah. In other words, verse 17 and 18, this is what these three boys with the voice of wisdom say. Let's get this straight, king. My God is not on trial. Um, that one went over somebody's head. Your God is never on trial when the doctor says, give your negative report. Your God is never on trial. I need you to write that down. I need you to say that. Say it in your house. Say it where you are right now. Huh. My God is not on trial. My God is not on trial. My God is able. My God you may is. not know he's able, but I know he's able. Hallelujah. My God's power is never to be questioned. Am I right about it? 
Our God's power is never to be questioned. It is not about your laws. It is not about your religion. Our God is able. Our God is able. Let the world do whatever. I can't wait for the weekend. Every day is a weekend to me. My God is in control. My God is able. But here's what they want you to know. But we refuse to bow to your God. We refuse to bow to your worldly system. And we would rather burn than bow or compromise our faith. Who am I preaching to that you have made up your mind to refuse to buy or compromise your faith this morning? In, the, in your business dealing, will you refuse to buy? In your health dealing, will you refuse to buy? Even with dealing with your family, will you refuse to buy? Are you ready to meet Hallelujah. the fourth man in the fire? Hallelujah. Did you hear what they said? Our God is able. But even if he's not, we're not going to stop worshiping him. And I said, wait a minute. Y'all in the fire? And y'all still worshiping? Am I talking to anybody that you only know how to worship God when your rent is paid? Come on, man. And you don't know how to worship God when, God, I need to trust you to pay my rent. Are y'all still with me this morning? Hallelujah. They are worshiping God. In other words, what got them thrown into the fire, they never stopped worshiping. Can I talk to somebody that can decree and declare, God, I will never stop worshiping. They're in the fire. And they say, let's get this straight today. It ain't about whether God is able. It's about you knowing today, we will never bow to you. Hallelujah. Now watch this. How many know that's letting your words be yea and amen? Hallelujah. I say that's letting your words be yea and amen. Am I right about it? Some of us might be afraid. Oh, I don't want to say it so boldly. Man, that, they're in the king's face. Hallelujah. I said they're in the king's face saying let's get this straight today. Hallelujah. And the king, in verse 19, Daniel 3, 19, then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury. Well, wait, in verse 13, you were full of rage and fury. Now you, uh, oh, who? don't tell me you can't get the world mad at you. What, what has divided America in the church? I said it last week. You got Christians that saying God's using Donald Trump. You got other Christians saying, guys, you didn't buy them. What has divided? This is what they're saying. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen? He ready to fire them. He's ready to like, I don't want nothing to do with y'all. Hallelujah. Wow. So much so that he commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was want to be heated. Everybody say seven times hotter. Seven times hotter. I need somebody to shout. It's getting hot up in here. It's getting hot up in seven here. Seven times hotter. And I say, wait a minute. Why would you turn it up seven times hotter? I said, it's getting hot up in here, but our God is able. The question is, they refuse to bow. Hallelujah. When you refuse to bow, can I tell you this morning? You better expect the devil to raise the fire up seven times higher. Somebody say, why seven times higher? Because in the book of Isaiah, God says, when the enemy come in one way, I'll make him flee seven ways. Amen. Hallelujah. How many know the devil always try to duplicate God, try to imitate God? Hallelujah. As Christians, we're not afraid of the number seven. Can I ask anybody who's afraid of number seven? Mm. If three is the perfect will of God, Hello. you understand? What is number seven? Completion. Completion. Amen? Amen. God says, I'll make seven ways for the devil uh, to leave you. 
Come on, so you're gonna turn it up. If you're gonna turn it up seven times higher, guess yeah. what I know? My guy gonna turn my fire up seven times higher. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, get yeah. what I'm trying to tell you? You might not Come have now. you might not have gas money, but if you start picking up people for church, gotta make sure you get gas money. Yeah. You understand? If you're like, oh, I don't have that much food, start feeding people and watch God fill your cup. Our God is able. Am I right okay. about it this morning? Hallelujah. So the Bible says they turn it up seven times higher. Tell me, that's not intimidation. You not only feel it, you hear it. Hallelujah. Now, this fire could be sickness. It could be a loved one. It could be a spouse saying, I don't love you anymore. Amen. It could be a lying significant other saying, well, you know, if we do it, then all we got to do is ask God to forgive us. Seven times harder comes in many forms. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are y'all still with me? We with y'all, Papa. Oh yeah. If you're getting blessed, type in Amen. I know. Amen. This word got to be not only me. Do you understand? They were like, "Where's Daniel?" Mm -hmm. A greater than Daniel is about to show up, saints. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Hallelujah to God be the glory. And so in verse 20, and he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego mm -hmm. and to cast them into the burning fiery fire. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all know what I just said? Didn't I tell you when they went to the king, they wasn't bound? They, they didn't know what they were coming to the king for. Okay. And now they are bound. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. They're bound. But you got to look closer. Somebody say, look closer. Oh. So they bound them to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats. They were bound in their hosen. They were bound with their hats. And they were bound with other garments. And they were cast. And they were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Now, the first question you should ask is, they bind them up, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but they left everything on them. Yeah. They left their clothes, their coat, they had, everybody say, take clothes out and say they left everything on them. They left everything on them. Did you get that? They left everything on them, their coats, their leggings, their hat, their underclothes. Get, can I tell you what that represents? That represents your hedge of protection. When you go into the fire completely clothed and covered, they threw them in the fire completely clothed and covered. Did you get that, Saint? They threw them in the fire. They should have made them naked. But guess what they left on them? The head of salvation. Guess what they left on them? Uh, their loins girded with truth. Guess what they left on them? Their shoes shot with the preparation of the gospel. Yeah, 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 you yeah. should have beat me half dead. For you threw me into the fire. I ain't afraid to go in the fire when you left me all clothed, when you left me completely covered. Hallelujah. Amen. That's because the devil don't know. Hallelujah. God said, remember the battle and do no more. I say this is a hedge of protection. Don't you see that clothing represents I'm completely covered? Hallelujah. Somebody say, make it plain. Make it plain. Didn't we read where they say we will not eat the king's meat? We will not eat the king's meat. We will not drink. We will not eat. And guess what else? We will not wear what the king has given us. So the clothes they had on came from where they've been. How many know what clothes I have on today? I have the clothes of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. What about you this morning? Hallelujah. Or your feet shy with the preparation of the gospel that you don't care if you got two nickels to rub together or not. You still going to tell somebody God is a good God. Am I right about it? Even though you got sickness in your body, are you still clothed with he sent his word to heal me? They should have took it off, but you left me. Hallelujah. I say, but you left me clothed. Hallelujah. They left them clothed in their right mind. My God, I don't care how bad it's gotten. 
The devil made one mistake. He left you clothed in your right mind. I think Sister Angela should have shouted amen. amen. That what you've been through, didn't the devil... Didn't the devil leave you in your right mind? You still press your way to church. You still say, man of God, I'm still coming. Oh, if you'd have took me out of my mind, but you didn't take my hat to my cover. Oh, somebody need to hear this this moment. Are you ready to meet the fourth man in the fire? Who? That's what the Bible says. Look at verse 22. Wow. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent. Mm -hmm. How many know what urgent means? That's people that's trying to press your buttons and get you all out. The devil operates under urgency. Make a decision now. Do it now. Do it now. Make it happen now. Hallelujah. But I read, and you have to be still. Come on, somebody. Finish it for me. And And know that I am God. Don't be anxious for tomorrow. For today is an anxious for itself. So because the king's commandment was so urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flames of fire slew those men and took that took up Shadrach, Meshach. The same fire that was supposed to burn you burned them that was trying to throw you in the fire. Woo! Woo! God is in control with the devil meant for evil. God will turn it around for good. I want to ask you something. Why they didn't get burnt up? Because they wasn't clothed. Did you hear what I just said? They got burnt up because they wasn't clothed. They were completely clothed. But it gets better. Hallelujah. I got to hasten the clothes, my goodness. I pray y'all got blessed by this word today. Amen. Are you ready to meet the fourth man? Come on. He said in 23, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. They fell down, still worshiping saints, in the midst of the devil's fire. Mm -hmm. Am I talking to anybody that you may be in the midst of the devil's fire? But remember, who brought you into the fire? They burnt up. They got evicted. They lost their job. You still got your job. You said, do you get what I'm saying to you? In verse 24, he says, Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste and spoke and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? And they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like unto the Son of God. Did you hear what Nebuchadnezzar just said? Listen to me as I hasten to close. Come on. The safest place where the devil cannot attack you is you becoming a living, burning bush like Moses experienced on the mountain. The Bible says the bush burned and was not consumed. Uh The three Hebrew Mm -hmm. boys are in the fire and not consumed. I say the safest place you keep running from the fiery furnace. And God is saying, I'm trying to pull you in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you getting that? The safest place where the devil cannot attack you is become when you become a living fire. Hallelujah. Who is the fourth man in the burning furnace? Can I tell you who he is this morning? Come on, tell us. Who is the fourth man? You looking for Daniel, you got the fourth man. Wrong. You're looking for your mama to help you pay rent. You're looking for your dad. You got the wrong fourth Come man. Come on, now I preach. I said, who is the fourth man in the fiery furnace? He is Abel's righteous sacrifice. He is Noah's rainbow. He is Abraham's ram. He is Isaac's well. He is Jacob's ladder. He is Ishakar's burden. He is Judah's scepter. He is Moses' rod. He is Elijah's mantle. He is Elisha's staff. He is Samuel's horn of all. He is David's slingshot. He is Peter's rock. He is Paul's healing handkerchief. He's John in the revelation. 
He is John's great white throne of judgment. Hallelujah. He is a father to the offering. He is a husband to the widow. Yeah, yeah. He is the day star of our deliverance. He is the lily in the valley. He is the rose of Sharon. He is the berries of 10,000. Yes, he, he is the honey in the rock. Yeah, 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 Sweeter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who is this folk man? Come on. He is Jesus, Great. son of the living God. Were well, you ready to meet the folk yeah. man? You need Jesus. Oh, I said you need Jesus. Cain got jealous because Abraham, I mean, Abel gave a righteous sacrifice. Peter became the rock. Paul sent healing handkerchiefs. John wrote the book of Revelation and said there was a great white throne. He declared himself to be a father to the offering, a, a, a husband to the widow. He is the, he is the day star of our deliverance. Hallelujah. He is a brother that stick it closer than a friend. He is the fourth man in the fire. Are you ready to meet him this morning? He is Jesus, son of the living God. And God sent me to ask you this morning. Are you ready to meet him? Amen. You can say, man of God, I bow. I've compromised my gospel. I let fear get in me. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me today. Make it real, God. I need you, God. God says, come on in the fire. It's nice and hot. But the fire that God will give you will burn up the devil's fire. Come on. I say the fire that's on you will burn up the fire, any fire that the devil can bring you. If this word has ministered to you and you say, man, of God, I don't want to bow anymore. I don't want to compromise. I need you to say this prayer with me. Every head bow. Heavenly Father, eternal God. Father God, I've been in captivity and I've learned to bow and I've learned to compromise. But today, I tell the devil, hear me clearly. My God is able to deliver me, to heal my body, to heal my family, to deliver my family. I will no longer compromise. I will no longer bow down. God, I make a decision. Before I bow, I will burn. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we come right now to sit at Jesus' feet. Say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent for doubting, for walking in fear. Lord Jesus, you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the fourth man in the fire. I'm ready to step into the fire that I may be protected by God's fire. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and be Lord of my life. I give you total lordship as I receive you now as my personal Lord and Savior in Jesus Christ's name. Let everyone in agreement say amen, amen, amen. Come on, give it up. Come on, if this word has blessed you. You ought to say amen. Amen. If this word has truly blessed you. Hallelujah. And you know, we've been asking you for your prayers and we've been asking you for uh, your faithful financial support. Whatever you can sow, whatever you can give will help this ministry to keep the doors open. Yes. We need to get us a new location and I'm asking you to sow faithfully. I, I still need you to pray yes. for God's direction, yes. but I need you to sow as well. Amen. Show the devil you will not bow in fear. You will not compromise with your covenant. Amen. Lift, lift your hands to the heaven. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, eternal God, we pray right now that you would bless the tithe and the offering, that you would increase it, Lord God, that we may truly be a blessing to this congregation, a blessing to this community, and Lord Jesus, eventually to the world as we confess that we will never bow or compromise, not in our words and not in our action, not in our sowing and our giving, Lord God, not in coming with one accord, with one mind, one toward the other. Lord Jesus, I ask you to bless the tithe, the offering, go on and increase it. 
in Jesus Christ's name. Let everyone in agreement say amen. 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 Come on, come on. It's your time to sow. Please do not forget. Next week we're having Holy Communion. And uh, uh, don't forget to get your crackers and grape juice. Just know I love you and I appreciate you. All the information is in the comment section below. Uh, and we just appreciate you and love you. And God willing, we'll see you next Monday or this coming Monday. Amen. Love y'all. Be blessed. Amen. Woo, glory. Hallelujah.